Hi, I'm Esther Julia, and this is my channel, Esther Julia Dance, where I share videos about my dancer, dance instructor, exotic dancer, newbie burlesque performer lifestyle. So if you want to get ideas about this lifestyle, get inspired and get out of your everyday life and embrace your femininity, learn tactics about that, then this is the channel for you. I also share a lot of uh, videos about how I become an, an, a dance entrepreneur and dancer from a nine to five corporate. Today, I will share a video about how you can give a lap dance for your partner. And I'm not only talking about moves, I will also talk about how you can create an atmosphere for that. And the reason why I say that, because not long time ago on my other channel, I shared a video about the five most important lap dance moves. And that other channel is the Boudoir Gym, which you should definitely check out if you just want to have a great workout on Boudoir Gym. I share workout videos, shogun workout videos, such as cardio burlesque, uh, burlesque fitness sessions, chair dance fitness videos, and also exotic floor dance workout and videos, so definitely check out that channel. But today I'm going to talk about the whole idea of how you can give a lap dance as a beginner for your significant other. about the other things. What are the other things? First of all, creating a dancer spot, a lap dancing spot. Something like this is not a bad idea, like with a nice warm towel, just a couch, uh, like some kind of party wall, like you can make it bigger and like completely, I don't know, um, make the white wall to disappear. Talking of white wall, yes, having just a room with a white wall and like a gray chair, like a metal chair, I probably wouldn't recommend that because that's too cold. So something more on the warm side when it comes to towels. Obviously, if you can buy like red couches and create a whole red like district spot, that's great, but you don't have to do that, but that's great if you can do that. Pink is a great sexy color as well. Talking of lighting, because I just mentioned the word red light district. Lighting is very important. Try to keep your room a little bit on the darker side, but also keep in mind to bring some lights, some little bit more dimmer lights, like not super bright lights, but that probably I wouldn't use. Maybe what you can utilize is just to keep your room dark and use some little lamps, like a little lamp like this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like uh, make a room tour interior design hall. So anyway, using a little lamp, that's all oh, did I am, <laughs> came back again. Or you can use some candles as well. And make sure that the candles have some nice smell, probably I wouldn't go on to the very spiritual type of candles with this yoga spiritual smell. This is not the direction what we're heading. It's more like something like a tasty um, candle smell. Talking of smell, use some nice parfum. <laughs> make sure that you make sure that you took a shower before you dance. And anyway, I just like to keep things fun, but the parfum helps. And when it comes to you because I just mentioned parfum, uh, outfit. So what type of outfit you should wear? This is a sexy one, which shows your body. However, and I'm gonna be maybe a hypocrite here, I don't recommend you wearing leggings when you do a lap dance. You probably wanna strip off. Leggings is not the most useful outfit or gear, lap dance gear to have on you because it's just very hard to get rid of it on a sexy way. So the best is a dress, like a nice mini dress maybe, a little bit maybe shorter than this. Also, you can wear a maxi dress, but then make sure that the maxi dress had a cut in the back. 
And I tell you why, because when you gonna do this lean forward stuff, then you wanna showcase, show your legs. So that's important. The dress is very really good. And that's also very important to like wear a nice lingerie, like a lingerie with some lace that you can see, see through. You can never go wrong with the lace underwear, never. And I'm telling that from experience. So shoes, obviously stripper shoes, be my guess. And it's also actually quite comfortable if you're comfortable with stripper shoes because we do quite a lot of movements on the couch, a little bit going down on the floor, climbing movements for which stripper shoes are great for. But what I'm going to wear, and you can wear this as well, especially a nice dress or next dress, it looks good, like a ballroom shoes. Nice ballroom shoes or some nice boots, uh, sandals with high heels, high heels, I would definitely recommend. And music, without music, life and the lap dance would be a mistake. I mean, I don't know dance definitely, but... Um, I think lap dance as well. Good music definitely for me helps a lot. And I would recommend using like sensual music, but slower music. And I'm just gonna give you some example. Probably I'm gonna show, create another video about music, what music you can use at this type of dances. But uh, good Ariana Grande, like Dangerous Woman is a good one. Uh, Seven Ring is a good one, which one Beyonce dance for you. Also, Drunk in Love, that's a very good one from Beyonce. Weekend songs, mostly all of them, great. Bruno Mars, Versace on the floor, very good. So, I gave you some music ideas. Slow, sensual, R&B, or rock and roll would be good as well, if, if it has some like slow parts like not this very quick part so like the flat part put, put some sugar on me it's good i think the miss you from rolling stones is good that's a little bit i would say uh it has parts on the slower side so something that is inviting and now let's do the dance so actually i will show you like a very quick choreography and this choreography will uh, present most of the movements that I did share in the other video, what I just talked about in the beginning of this video, where I showcased five important lap dance moves, and that video is on the Buddha Art Gym. But here, I'm just gonna create a choreography which is based on those moves, but also I will include other moves, so just you don't have the same experience. So first of all, when you start the dance, you are away from your partner. So let's suppose your partner is sitting here, here, there, and it's funny because the camera is here, but I will make it work. So you are away from your partner, and now you like smiling for your partner, make sure that you smile the whole time. I'm trying to, I try to remember for that. And then now you do the sexy walk. So, which means that you walk close to your partner, Yes, and then a little bit show yourself off, touch yourself, just to show your nice boobs and nice ass, and then leave. <laughs> but as you leave, you can do a suggestive look back, like I show you how that looks, something like this, and then walking back. And now you're gonna stay here longer, like doing some circles, touches. And then here, maybe you can get rid of your jacket or whatever, but you have uh, over your dress. I recommend having a jacket just for the heck of it. And then now you can lean down a little bit, slide your dress up and then slide it back in. Grind. Slide it up, shake. You're actually showing your nice underwear and laundry. And then back. You're not gonna sit on the partner yet. 
you can walk close and now you can really utilize those kneeling positions what I talked about in the other video but you can kneel on the partner, lean close, do a little body roll and then come back now you can walk around so you're still not on the partner it's very important uh, at the lap dance that you tease you just get there slowly. That's why you need the slow music. So now you're on your knees again. Again, you can utilize the rise, the circular movements, because the circular movement is inviting, and touches. From here, you start kneeling on the partner, a little bit laying on the partner, showing the ass. Nice. So this is actually on your partner's lap. And this is on your partner's lap as well, where you can really show your underwear. You can also create on your leg, a little bit come forward, just to have enough space. Touch. And then you can sit down on your partner, and now you just sat down. How long time is this? Quite a few minutes. We already had a song. And what you can do in the sitting, making circles, leaning back. As you lean back, you can actually create some physical contact, closer physical contact, which is very important as you lean back. And then from here, again, being on your knees, but getting closer. Now you actually own the partner. And then you can play with the partner's shirt, ties, dress, whatever it is, give a little massage, come close, close, close. Make sure that you did some body rolls. Your partner actually smells you, feels you. And from here, whatever you do, it's your secret. So that was my how to give a lap dance video. I think it was quite a detailed video and I talked about everything what I can talk about when it comes to lap dancing. Make sure that you give a great lap dance for your partner. See you next time. Make sure that you subscribe to get notified when another exciting video comes out. Bye, until soon. Bye.